This weekend's fishing forecast is brought to you by Montauk Tackle Company. Hi, this is Captain Al Lorenzetti for SkimmerOutdoors.com, bringing you the weekend update and fishing report. This for the weekend of June 22nd, 3rd, and 4th. A uh, lot of hot action. This week was very good. It, it, kind of slow in the beginning, picked up towards the end. Uh, striped bass fishing right now is excellent. Uh, today I ran out there, I fished with George Yersak. Uh, we had bass on the pods up to 46 pounds. Probably three or four fish, over, well over 40 pounds, and a lot of mid-30s, upper 30s. We kept one fish, smaller fish, for the table. Released all the rest, they were all in great shape. So. Uh, Bunker pods, primarily uh, best fishing was east of the inlet. I did hear some straight outside the inlet. Uh, I didn't hear anything from the west today, so uh, the fishing is going to be good. The, oh, the ocean looks like it's going to be good. No really strong winds or anything. Maybe a thunderstorm in the afternoon, so keep your eyes open about that. So bass fishing is excellent. Also in the inlet, drifting in the inlet by the six can. Fire Island, uh, there are bass there as well. Uh, so, bass fishing top notch. Uh, sea bass fishing on the offshore Fire Island Reef has been excellent all week. The boats have been banging them up. Uh, season is open now, so uh, if you got a little private piece, so you know something, a little bit of structure, uh, I'm sure you can get out there and slam the sea bass as well. I know fish that would take almost, you know, up to almost five pounds. Um, fluke fishing, uh, excellent inside. Good friend of mine, Rich Santos, he had three fish up to seven pounds uh, fishing near the Robert Moses Bridge. Uh, there's some nice quality fish in the back bay areas off of Ocean Beach by the lighthouse. That's all good. And I heard today there was a pretty good catch by the Fire Island Offshore Reef as well. So fluke fishing again now it really picked up. So excellent. It's going to be a great weekend for that. On the offshore scene, uh, this is the weekend of the Bayshore Mako Tournament. Uh, there are plenty of sharks out there. Uh, my neighbor, Mike Morrison, he was trolling around the Linda area looking for a tuna maybe or something like that, you know, whatever. And a green machine, 110 pound mako, jumped all over it. Uh, so mako on the troll. So if there's a mako on the troll, 110 pounds, you know there's got to be a 250 around there someplace going to eat bait. Uh, and he had bluefish, so it's, you find the bluefish, the makos are going to be there. Um, so shark fishing should be excellent. A lot of reports of tuna not really settled in in one area where you can go there and say, hey, we're gonna go there and jig them, but Chicken Canyon, Texas Tower, uh, Compass Rose, there have been fish caught in all of those areas. Uh, you just gotta get out there and do a little bit of searching. Uh, Linden Call Canyon, a lot of yellowfin. Uh, Hudson Canyon, there's definitely yellowfin. So uh, it's a matter of getting out there, checking it out, covering some ground, and uh, looking for the fish, and I'm sure you're gonna find them. Uh, most people will. So uh, anyway, it looks like a beautiful weekend weather-wise, tournament weekend, all kinds of great fishing to be had, so uh, excellent weekend to get out there. The weather's beautiful. Today was a scorcher. It's gonna be warm again, but chilling out a little bit, getting a little bit cooler. Today was well over 90, but it's going to be like, you know, 75 degrees and beautiful, uh, except for some of the storm, like I said, in the afternoon. So that's it. Have a great weekend. Get out there, catch them up, and have a great time.